Cyclone Carlos, which has just formed in the southwest Indian Ocean at 3 p.m. UTC, February 4th, 2017. It's got winds of 40 miles an hour and a pressure of 996 millibars, and warnings are now springing into effect on the Masserine Islands. Uh, Mauritius under a Class 1 warning, and Reunion under a, uh, under a pre-cyclone alert. This is what the storm is expected to do over the next five days and uh, at the moment the forecast is calling for a landfall on Reunion uh, just before day three as you can see there and then after that it's likely to move to the southwest and possibly intensify into a hurricane strength storm. Right now 94 miles east southeast of Trommelin, it's a 2 on the CDPS, a level 2, uh, which means it's a somewhat disorganized storm but is capable of causing damage. It's also 254 miles west of St. Brandon. Over time the storm's expected to move towards the south and then you'll see its conditions begin to affect the area around Mauritius and Reunion. There you can see what the effects are likely to be. The tropical storm wind field in the green orb over there and then there you can see it moving towards the south. There's Mauritius with Port Louis. Pretty much the whole island may well be under tropical storm conditions and Reunion as well by Monday. So let's take a look at the sea surface temperatures right now, there they are, temperatures are pretty warm, that looks like 28 to 30 degrees Celsius, uh, on the 28 more like for the storm itself, uh, but warm waters will be um, sufficient for the storm for some time to come, around 5 days or so. Wind shear as you can see is dropping, um, is fairly low as it is, um, and could be conducive to development at least for the next day or two. Um, and indeed it could become a hurricane briefly in the next two days anyway. And here's the floater imagery which is very poor in this part of the world uh, due to poor satellites I guess. Um, and this is what the storm looks like, we've only got the single image uh, from the NOAA floaters. Uh, it's the only part in the world where that happens. Uh, but there is the storm, the northwestern side looking very bare. Uh, the southeastern side looking um, the most developed and the southern side has the um, most winds. Uh, an ASCAP pass from earlier today had wind speeds of around 40 miles an hour on a large area of the southern semicircle surrounding the centre of the storm. It's got quite a large centre as well at this time uh, and pretty disorganised but it is there. So far we've had just two storms, two depressions even, one storm, well we should have had two really, uh, but only one named storm that is, um, compared to 22 depressions and 41 storms on average from 1960 to 2016. Obviously a very long way to go, but we started extremely quietly in 2017 of course. It's the quietest start to a season worldwide, to a year, a calendar year since 1928, would you believe? And there it is compared to all the years since 1900, even though some of them obviously wouldn't have had much going on. Um, not many records, 31 is what to beat for 1900. Here's Force 13's outlets, you can follow Force 13 on the website, force13.com and it's Tracker. Of course you can find us on YouTube, you're probably there right now, but if not, there it is. And you can also find us on Facebook, search Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter. Um, where you can follow our tweeting business. Um, you can also follow Fool13 on Skype, our ad extension 9094 for Discord.